talking about how Chad got his internship in Tesla. Right, so I go to Georgia Institute of Technology. Uh, I'm an electrical engineering major. How should one um, utilize the time in college? Piecewise myself a little bit into 50% of kind of fun hobbies and 50% of actually devoting to something that builds my career. That's Honestly, the best way that you can just get connected to these companies is try and find some personal connection. Just kind of try and uh, keep reaching for something that you love. You're not necessarily going to find it freshman year. That's never a guarantee. But as long as you keep searching, you're bound to find something eventually that you will truly love, you're passionate about. And when you do that, you'll succeed. And this is Chad. Um, so we are talking about how Chad got his internship in Tesla. Chad is currently an uh, intern in Tesla, right? Yes. And um, tell us more about yourself. Uh, what school are you from? What major are you in? Right, so I go to Georgia Institute of Technology uh, back in Atlanta. I, I'm an electrical engineering major. I'm also uh, looking at a material science minor. Okay. Give us some suggestions. How should one um, utilize the time in college? Right. Um, your time in college is definitely uh, a really just a whole flood of opportunities to you. So right when you get in the door, there will be a lot that you're looking at. Um, I think one of the coolest things that I've tried to do is try to piecewise myself a little bit into 50% of kind of fun hobbies and 50% of actually devoting to something that builds my career. Um, and it's definitely tough to find that because I'm still just an undergrad. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing in 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. years. Um, but while I'm there, uh, I'm in the jazz club and then uh, that kind of takes my fun hobbies. And then uh, on the other end of that, I'm also part of high tech racing. Um, and so when I was back at school, um, I'd work my way up to circuits team lead. And oh, so, okay. um, so you're the uh, circuit team lead. In the um, in the racing team. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we build an electric car um, almost from the ground up entirely. There are a few parts we just have to get, but other than that, uh, we put a lot of work into that, and there are definitely a lot of great guys on that team. Um, but yeah, I was able to be circuits team lead for that. Okay. So does that help you um, get this internship as well? Absolutely. Um, actually, the the team that came to recruit uh, at Tech came specifically to the uh, car teams oh. uh, and the competition teams before they just went to the general campus to recruit. Okay. Um, so it definitely boosted my chances a lot, and I got to uh, meet and then uh, just personally had, just have a kind of cool conversation with uh, okay. the people who were recruiting rather than just dumping my resume into a giant flood and <laughs> crossing my fingers that I would uh, get the job. Okay. Well, what are some of the fun things you do um, in the racing car team? Right, um, so in the racing car team, um, when, when I first got there, uh, and actually a little bit in my second year as well, uh, I worked on uh, telecommunications for the car. Okay. Um, so basically what we were trying to do was read all the CAN data off the car and uh, display it live um, so that we could see uh, how the car was performing okay. um, while it was actually in use. Um, and we'd not done it yet, so it was a pretty cool opportunity. I got to learn a lot okay. about what wireless technology looks like, and that was just right when I walked in the door. Um, so I really appreciated that. Um, other than that, uh, as circuits team lead, my, my role shifted actually a little bit away from a technical facet, and I was um, helping a lot more freshmen to accomplish uh, what they were trying to do. And so it was pretty cool to see just kind of what that might look like from a more managerial side. Uh, okay. Even though I was still just pretty young. Okay, and so what are some of the preparations that um, you know all these college students can do mm -hmm. to prepare for you know a career or even internships? Like? Sure, um, I think the biggest thing is honestly just keep looking. Um, there, you got to go through a lot of breadth and just a lot of uh, just <laughs> getting little tastes of stuff until you find out what you actually really might want to do. Um, and so yeah, I mean, before high tech, I've looked at other racing teams. Um, I've looked at research teams, um, VIP projects sort of thing at tech um, for just different groups doing different stuff. Uh, you just gotta keep looking and okay. keep your head up for, hey, what's going on and just give it a shot. 
Okay. And so is this your first internship? Uh, this is not my first internship. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So you are also a uh, third year and you got several internships already. Uh, yes, I've had two internships so far before coming to Tesla. Okay. So what, what, what are those? Right. Uh, so my first internship was with a telecommunications company, actually. Um, and so there I worked with a little bit of hardware, but it was mostly software-based okay. internship. Um, and so that was just right after my freshman year in the summer. Okay. Um, my second internship was the semester immediately following in okay. the fall of what would have been my second year. Um, and that was with uh, that was a uh, government research team. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got you got an internship right after freshman year, and that's mostly software. Mm -hmm. But usually people don't learn software, you know, coding at all in freshman year, right? Right. Um, so our school does offer MATLAB freshman year, and it's a, okay. actually mandatory for all engineers. You don't have to take it yeah. freshman year, but. Typically that class is taken freshman year, if not uh, very quickly into sophomore year. But the big thing that was, was that was Python. Um, and I had, had the fortune of my uh, dad actually kind of pushing me to take it and oh. suggesting that I take it. And despite my kind of wanting to take, I think, Spanish <laughs> instead, I ultimately okay. ended up taking Python my senior year of high school. Oh, um, okay. And so that turned into something very valuable that I was very happy to have So had. you learned Python in high school? Yes. Wow, that was very advanced. Yeah. So you, you're really thankful for your father now, right? Yes, I am. I was also thankful for uh, my teacher. It was the first year that our school started teaching Python, um, okay. so it was very helpful. Okay, so um, do you have any suggestions for other students who are um, looking to start their career in tech? And what mm -hmm. are some of the things that they can do? Definitely. Um, so I think the biggest thing is to develop personal connections with people. Um, none of the jobs that I've had so far have come from me putting my resume into uh, just a folder of resumes before I actually talk to the person. Every time that has happened, I've gotten immediately or at some point down the road rejected. I remember one company, I applied to five different positions within and I got an email five days in a row telling me I got rejected from each <laughs> one of them. So That's honestly the best way that you can just get connected to these companies is try and find some personal connection even if that means just cold calling on LinkedIn and uh, trying to just say like hey I'm interested in what you do is there any way like I could kind of tap into that somehow. Okay. Um, otherwise, I think, yeah, just kind of try to uh, keep reaching for something that you love. You're not necessarily going to find it freshman year. You're not going to find it sophomore, junior, or senior. That's <laughs> never a guarantee. Um, but as long as you keep searching, you're bound to find something eventually that you will truly love. And when you do that, when you find something you're passionate about, you'll find a job that you're passionate about. And when you do that, you'll succeed. Okay, thank you so much, Chad. That's really valuable. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to help. Okay, thanks for watching. See y'all.